Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is my very first YouTube video, so I wanted to introduce myself to you guys. And I'm four foot ten, and I'm a petite style blogger. My blog, Instagram, Pinterest is all related to helping petite women build a wardrobe they love and that actually fits them. Um, I'm not new to style sessions. So I will tell you in my IGTV style sessions, I do a lot of multiple ways to wear to help you get the most out of your wardrobe. These videos are often a little bit fast, um, a little bit dancey. Sometimes you can miss some of the details in it. So I wanted to also create a YouTube channel so that I could take those style sessions and add a little more detail, go a little bit slower so that you can really take it in. So if that's more your style, be sure to subscribe to this channel so that you can get notified of every new post that comes out each video will also go on my blog, so you'll be able to catch it there if you miss it here. So my very first style session for YouTube is going to play off of a concept that I did a couple weeks ago, which was 10 items, 20 outfits. I got a really good response from that style session, and some of you said they wished it was a little bit slower. So I thought this would be perfect for the first YouTube video. This one's going to be 10 items and 20 outfits that you can wear to work. All of them are petite friendly. Keep in mind I'm 4 foot 10, so if you're 5 foot, this is going to be perfect for you. So first I'll show you the 10 items that I'm going to use. Two of them I'm wearing already. I'm wearing um, kind of a puff sleeved, it's got a little crop to it, white sweater. I feel like a white sweater is a really great basic for every girl to have in their closet. I especially love this one for wearing to work just because of the fit of it. Since it is a little bit shorter, it doesn't need to be tucked in. I know some of you love to tuck your tops in, and I've heard from some of you that you don't. Um, and then the other item that I'm wearing is a pair of cropped flare pants. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see these. <laughs> I'm used to shooting in vertical form, so hopefully this video is going to go well in horizontal. So I also grabbed two blazers. Um, I have just a really pretty white blazer which is perfect going into, I know it's not spring yet, it's still really cold outside, but it's gonna be spring in a couple months. So I know the things that we're buying now are things that we wanna get a lot of wear out of. So a white blazer is really beautiful to wear now and later. Also a classic camel blazer. This one's from J. Crew Factory. I've had it for a few years now. It's not petite, it's the regular fit, and I love it. It, it almost has a slightly oversized fit on me because I am petite which gives it kind of a more modern vibe. The next thing is just a basic black turtleneck. It's gonna be great to layer with, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna mix and match it with the items I have here. I also have just a black sweater blazer from J. Crew. If you follow my blog, you know how much I love J. Crew sweater blazers. I just think they're a really classic and beautiful topper. Um, I wear this in the regular size, and extra, extra small. So I also wanted to include a printed top this is from Ann Taylor, another really great place for petites. Um, this is the Petite Extra Extra Small. I wanted to include a printed top because even though neutrals work really well for getting a lot out of your wardrobe, I also think that there is a place for printed tops. I think that they can easily be worn multiple ways, so I don't think you need to shy away from mixing in pretty prints and things like that. I chose one that's kind of a really dark purple because it looks great with black, it looks great with the green skirt that I'm going to show you. Um, it also looks really good with the camel blazer and the camel coat. Then I have just the classic chambray top. I've had this one for years. It's from, I think it's originally from J. Crew Factory. It's extra, extra small, petite. They have a more updated version available that I'm going to link in the post. But this is something that's classic that you're going to get so much wear out of if you have one in your closet. I highly, highly recommend it. I'm going to add, it's a leopard print midi skirt. It has um, a little pink in it, which I like. This is from J. Crew Factory. It comes in petite. And the last thing is just a classic dark green pencil skirt. I am using dark green just to add a little variety, but you could make these outfits with a black skirt as well. Um, I'm not including the shoes and the product count. I am going to mix in a few different pairs of shoes. I think I have one, five different pairs of shoes that I'm going to add in to today's post. So don't count those in my item count. The last thing, again, that I did not include in the item count is just a really classic camel top coat. This one's from J. Crew. It comes in petite, double zero petite. I know this was selling out, 
so when I um, put the post together, I'll be sure to share some different options for you girls that also works really well for petite. Okay, so the first outfit, all the way zoomed out, um, these are the crop pants that I was talking about. They have a really cute little seam down the front that I think dresses them up. I chose to get them in the curvy fit. I tend to be a little wider in my hips, but they do have a little bit of extra room in the back for me. So if you are not as curvy, I recommend going with the modern fit of these pants. So I think that this sweater can look really great with the green pencil skirt. I did tuck the sweater all the way into the skirt. You could do more of like a front tuck um, if you wanted to, but I like how polished it looks when it's all the way tucked in. You can pull it out just a little bit to kind of balance the tightness of the skirt um, with the fuller fit of the sweater. You could wear it with the cap toe pump or these pointed toe tan pumps. These are also from Ann Taylor. They do run a tiny bit big. I'm wearing these in a five, but honestly, I could use one of those spacers in the front of my toes to keep it for a really good fit. Even the office, you could throw on the camel coats. I think a camel top coat polishes any outfit. You can put it on top of a pair of joggers and look beautiful. You could wear it with jeans and sneakers. I think it's just a really great investment piece to have in your wardrobe. And I think it looks really beautiful with the green skirt and the white sweater. You could take the same color combination and wear the camel blazer instead. The sleeves on this blazer are a tiny bit long for me. So I'll come up and show you just kind of the trick that I do with them. You see the buttons on the sleeve. I will tuck the sleeve in with the buttons. You could also wear the cap toe pumps, pumps with this combination. I think that would look great as well. Then you could take off the coat all together and swap out your skirt for the leopard skirt. In this case, since the sweater is a little bit thick, I would just tuck in the very front piece and then you can roll under the rest just like I did with the cropped flare pants. And you can see it gives the tucked look without being too heavy and thick in the waistband of the skirt. Okay, so then from here, you got your leopard skirt, and then you could switch out this white sweater for the chambray top. Um, if chambray is a little too relaxed for your workplace, you could definitely do this outfit with a white button down instead. Um, to add a little bit of length, again, you could roll the sleeves with this outfit. Um, I personally, to bring the colors together, would add the white blazer on top. Right. And so then we have this all together, white blazer, chambray top, leopard skirt. Um, and then like these pumps, they're kind of a brown color and I think that they match the skirt really well. But you could also wear a nude pump with these instead if that's what you have on hand. You could roll the sleeves here to give your wrists a little more length again. The exact combination of the white blazer and the chambray top with the kind of tannish brown pumps looks really great with the green pencil skirt, but you could also take this same concept and swap out the white blazer for the tan blazer. And if skirts aren't really your thing, you could swap out the skirt for the cropped flare pants. And then I think you could swap these shoes out for the leopard flats to give it a little more flare. And then if you wanted to, you could also wear this exact outfit with the black sweater blazer. And if you want to add a little more height, just because the sweater blazer is a little long, it kind of weighs you down, you could always swap out the leopard shoes for a pair of black pumps instead. So then the printed top. The thing I like about this printed top in particular is the v-neck is a really modest length, so it's great to wear to work. It also has a little bit of flare at the bottom of it, so it looks just as cute untucked, but you can also tuck it in. So in the first outfit, I styled it just with basic black pumps and the cropped flares. But if you wanted to go ahead and just tuck it all in, you could throw the white blazer on top and it would look beautiful. So there it is with the white blazer. I still kind of roll my sleeves. I always roll my sleeves when it comes to blazers. You could wear it with these black shoes. You could also swap it out for the cat toe pumps. So there it is with the cat toe pumps. And you could also swap out the white blazer with the tan blazer which really complements the cap toe pumps a little better than the white blazer. Um, I'll come in close so that you can see the print of this top. It is a dark purple, so it looks really great with camel and also with the black pants. Printed shirt also looks really great with the green skirt and the tan shoes. You could also swap out this tan blazer for the white blazer. Go ahead and give those sleeves a little roll. Okay, the last thing that's gonna make up the remainder of the outfits is a good one. This is black turtleneck. This is a basic that you could make so many outfits out of. Um, I think maybe I'm gonna make five today. We'll see as we get through them. Um, I think that this looks really great all by itself with this green skirt. You could wear black pumps instead, um, but you could also wear these tan pumps. With the tan blazer. I think that's a really pretty combination. 
you had a pair of leopard pumps, you could also bring it into this outfit. I think that would look really great. You could roll the sleeves here. You could also swap out the camel blazer for the black sweater blazer. Instead of the brown shoes with this one, I would go with a pair of cat toe pumps with this one. You could also do black pumps. I like the cat toe just because they blend really nicely with my skin. Sometimes the black pumps are a little bit stark against my winter white skin. You could also use the chambray top as a topper with this outfit. I think just adding a little bit of layers to it makes the outfit look different. Kind of gives you a little more out of your wardrobe and I think turtlenecks always look really good under button up tops of any kind, whether that's chambray or flannel or maybe even a white top. Um, and if you're ready to swap out the skirt, this outfit also looks really great with cropped flares. And if you really wanted to get your iron on, you could add the tan blazer to this one as well. Now last, but most certainly not least, the black turtleneck looks really great with the leopard skirt and a pair of cute black pumps. If you stuck with me this long, thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna list all of the links, all the sizing, all the fit tips on my blog. That link's gonna be below this video. There's also gonna be a shorter form video on IGTV and it'll also be on Pinterest. But if you like these YouTube videos, be sure to subscribe, let me know if you liked it or not, and I'll keep making them.